Welcome to this training tip showing how to use EdgeCam Workflow's stock database. The concept behind the stock database is that users can catalog common stock. Those stock items are stored in EdgeCam's tool store database, and this allows users during the course of programming to easily add off-the-shelf stock to parts that they are creating toolpath for. This will speed up the CAM process significantly. There's two parts to this demonstration. Part one will show how to use Workflow's stock database command, and then part two will show how to catalog your company's common stock. We'll begin by opening a solid and orienting the part for the machining setup. Notice that Workflow already knows the part size. Once we specify the material to use for the machining setup, Workflow has enough information to select suitable stock from the common sizes that our company has available in our stock database. When we choose the stock database command, Workflow opens the stock manager. Workflow's stock manager lists the stock available for general use. Notice that unsuitable stock has been filtered out providing easy selection of the best stock choices for this setup. Once we have chosen stock, Workflow assists us with assembling the stock to the part. I want to leave a hundred thousandths of stock above the part, and I want the part centered within the stock. We'll click Select when we're satisfied with the settings, and the stock is now added to the part. This is apparent from the Features window, where stock is listed as well as by rendering the stock. And also the information in the component setup window. If necessary, we can easily move the part or the stock and set the zero reference based on either the part or the stock shape. The stock database has helped us quickly choose a suitable stock size from the common stock our company has available for machining setups. You're already off to a fast start on the CAM process. From here, you would complete the virtual machining setup by adding fixtures, selecting the machine, and then going on to create toolpath. Let's explore how to add stock to EdgeCAM's tool store database using the stock manager application, which is open from the EdgeCAM launcher. The stock manager was added at EdgeCAM 2013 R2 release as part of the workflow introduction. Stock items in the database are visible and can be edited if necessary and even copied. This training demonstration uses the sample tool store database installed with EdgeCAM. Longtime EdgeCAM users with databases created in previous versions may not have any stock items in their database yet but can easily catalog common stock items using the same method shown here. Let's start by adding three common sizes of aluminum plate that our company keeps on hand for general machining needs. We'll create the first stock item and specify that it's a rectangular shape. Next, we'll assign material and a name that will be helpful to users that may need to work with this stock in EdgeCAM workflow then we'll fill out the size information. Notice that units can be put in using whatever the user wishes and that as we navigate through the different fields, the graphic image shows what those values relate to. Once complete, we'll save the first stock. The other two stock items are different thicknesses, so let's copy the first stock item and use it as a reference for the next two. That was easy. Next, let's explore a really neat option for users that have more complex stock, such as castings, forgings, extrusions, and weldments. This stock will be an aluminum forging, and is going to be represented using a custom shape, using a solid model. The intent is that this common stock shape would be used for many of our company's parts. 
Rather than inserting the solid into each edge cam part, it would save time to add it to the stock database and use it as needed. Let's go open the solid model forging in edge cam. Notice that the model is positioned for easy insertion into other parts. Zero has been placed at the center of the shaft and at the top end of the part in this case. Working in the features window, we'll right click over the icon representing the solid and choose output model from the shortcut menu. This is the same technique used with graphics for machine simulation as well as custom tool and holder graphics. We'll now switch back to the stock manager and paste the model, which creates the MEG file and the recommended path within the support files folder. This is a big time saver. If you want to change the file name, it's easy to do so here. and then we can save the new stock item. Let's see what happens now when we have a part to machine that can use this common forged stock item. As shown in part one of this training demonstration, the part to be machine has already been positioned and is ready to have stock added. The stock database command includes our new forging as a valid stock item. When we select it, it's added to the part, and from here can be easily positioned as needed for the setup. Just like before, we're off to a fast start on the CAM process. This is just one of the areas where EdgeCAM workflow makes you more productive compared to the traditional approach to CAM.